Many of you receiving valuation forms now have asked me to say a few words about it. Minister of Finance, we're getting a lot of messages and calls from property owners about what rate they have to pay for this property tax. You remember when Rowley told you that all that property tax was to cost was less than a dinner mint a day? Do we have that clip when Rowley told us it will cost you less than a dinner mint a day? The average person can pay an average price. And the average price you're talking about is about twelve or thirteen hundred dollars a year. That's three dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Less than a dinner mint. Rowley, property tax less than a dinner mint. Well, I don't know which dinner mint selling for that. Three dollars. I don't know. <laughs> so he told us it will cost less than a dinner mint a day. Well, those are some very expensive dinner mints, I must say. I warn you all, St. Joseph will have some of the higher rates in this country. And this is the same man who was not closing down Petra Tree, remember? The government is not closing down Petro Trin. This is Mr. Emil Gate. This is Mr. Merritt List for uh, the Commissioner of Police. Just remember always, voting has consequences. The PL John always tells us that elections have consequences. So when into nine years now, everybody's suffering, then you know voting, remember, St. Joseph. You have one of the worst health ministers here as well. Your UNC government will scrap this wicked tax. Next year, you know, you're going to have a triple whammy. You're going to have property tax to pay. You're going to have to pay electricity and water. Well, there's a fourth one you didn't think about. Ask Neil Gosain. Increased insurance rates on your properties. So four price increases for one homeowner in the new year. Look, Alim is saying the same thing with, it, with insurance. Um, so that's a classic definition of really callous leadership cold-hearted government, insensitive, unsuited for office,